here why you're here. Why are you here, guys? Because we're going to school without masks, and we want to get, we don't want to have to wear masks anymore during school. Yeah, so we're telling the school that we think it's time to let kids breathe and for parents to have options. <laughs> Not really. I'm just going to talk to the principal about my, um, about like my kids for school. Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay. You're allowed to go to your left and the principal. Okay. Um, we're just concerned about signs and people, you know, doing protests. We're not doing, we're not doing. <laughs> Oh, you know who I am. Yeah. You expected me this morning. I bet you are. I'm so and I'm so sorry to have you like get you guys in this position. I just like you know my my complaint is with Fairfax County Public School Board, but you guys are my conduit to it. So I wanted to like deliver like a letter and talk to somebody about like the repercussions for my kids for not wanting to wear a mask today. And I don't know if, if the principal's available. I don't want to put anybody in a weird position because I know that's the. Hi, I'm Carrie. Nice to meet you. What's I'm, your role? My role. I'm interim assistant principal. I'm okay. just helping out. Um, so, as you know, the executive, the executive order went into effect yeah, today. Yeah. And so, I did, I wanted to exercise my right as a parent. And I think Fairfax County Public Schools, are, like the school board is acting illegally to not give parents that right. And so, I didn't want my kids to wear masks today. Okay. So I wanted to know what the response of the school was. I know that um, I don't want them separated. I don't want them to be forced to have online learning. So I wanted to, so I'm here if they are going to be suspended, which I understand was one of the consequences. I'm here to pick them up. Okay. So, but I wanted, I want to go that, I want, I care enough that I want to, um, I want to find out what your, like the response is to kids who don't want to ask. Yeah. I appreciate that very much. Um, we would bring, we want them to come to school. All right. And at this point, it's Fairfax County policy. Okay. For them to wear a mask. So I think you fully understand it. So we would encourage them to wear a mask. Also, we would school have different responses at this time. Yep. So. Okay, but so if they don't, but I, I don't want them to wear masks in school. Yeah, so, then, so, so, like, so they're not allowed to school. Yeah, they're the case. Yeah. They would come into school with, hi, good morning. Yeah, but I don't want them to have a mask put on them. I understand. And we so, wouldn't put a mask on. We're going to offer it. And if students don't want to wear it because they have different uh, response okay. to the school system. Yeah, so you certainly can't take the children. Okay, so they're, so, because they're not allowed to be in school without a mask at this time. Okay, so then they're just suspended for the day. Yeah, I think that's how the division is responding to it. Okay, excuse. Um, Mr. Washington is at Kiss and Ride. We have okay. a member of the Office of Communications and Community Relations here as well. Okay. Um, so I think you understand that. Sure, okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Did you also write to Mr. Washington? I did. I wrote yeah. to Mr. Washington. It was hard. No, there wasn't like an email address, so I had to yeah. fill out a form and I sent it to Ms. Tran, but I didn't want to. It's just like forward. It's it did. Okay, yeah. good. I assume yeah. she would. She's so yeah. kind. It's, it's longer than that. It's longer than that. Yeah. I figured yeah. I would just yeah. <laughs> do the basics. I don't want to keep it under. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys. Okay, sure thanks. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, it's the same mom. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Terrific. Okay. Are you parents friends? Hi. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Because I can't. Excuse me. Oh, oh really? Oh, seriously. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Wait. You you had to take your mask take off care. because yeah. you can't speak with your mask on because you can't yell with your mask on. I mean, if so, you're because you have a cold, you have to tell. I have allergies. You can't be taking videos of my kids around. There are no kids around. Just mine. I give like yeah. They have permission to come my kids. Okay. Thank you very much. All good? Yeah. He didn't take his mask off to talk to me because it could be on the side. I heard about it. Thanks, people. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Hey, you know, one of the reasons why I did this today is because I was so frustrated with the, um, the like thing last night where it was just like a presentation of things I've already heard and parents have never looked. Thank you, guys. Okay. So, will you just tell us what happened? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you know, I had a, a, like a very like nice conversation with one of the nice administrators here who I think understands the, the hard position that parents are in now. Um, and, you know, I felt like she wanted, she didn't want to have to say that these kids were not welcome on school property today. But the bottom line is they're not welcome on school property today if, unless they're going to be masked. So I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, I am so incredibly proud to know this. I 
you really, I mean, that's just so amazing. Thank you. Well, well, yeah. the three of you, but. Well, you know. thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's okay. Awesome. Cool. Yes. We're going to go probably get some pancakes. I was going to say, hopefully, <laughs> we're going to have like a hero breakfast. Yeah, exactly. right? So, do you want to tell me your experience? Oh. Were you worried? Yeah. I was. I was a little scared that none of the teachers will like me anymore. You're and afraid of that. Yeah. And my okay. friends are very, like, we should mask up, like, double mask and stuff like that. So I don't want them to not, like, like me anymore. But I wear those masks and stuff like that. So it was scary. It was nerve-wracking. Oh. You don't care Same so much. Same with me, but yeah. I don't care as much as Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Feel welcome? Um, I mean, I guess so. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, like she wasn't really mean. Yeah, she wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't exactly. Really, I think she, she didn't she want to She tried to, to, like, tell you the minute Yeah. Yeah. Let's see your beautiful smiles. I <laughs> met with a very nice lady at my kids' elementary school. Um, I really liked the administrators there. And, um, but I, I told them my position and I was told that kids are not welcome if they are not wearing masks um, in the school. So my, my kids were effectively suspended for the day. Um, and, um, and I thought it was an important gesture. I know a lot, I've heard from a lot of parents who share my sentiments, um, but they didn't want to speak out. They didn't want to take this stand because they were afraid of the blowback. I decided I wanted to stand up on behalf of all of those who felt they couldn't. Um, and I had a very respectful conversation with my school administrators, which I think was positive. I found it unfortunate that Fairfax County Public Schools decided to treat us as though we were going to be you know, violent criminals or something and had a security guard and a press um, person um, and really were trying to make it so un as uncomfortable as possible for us to exercise our what I see as our First Amendment rights to come and have this exchange, this polite exchange with my kids' schools. Um, so I think that's really unfortunate and makes me think that you know, Fairfax County Public Schools sure isn't interested in hearing from parents like me.